Some days you run, head first into the rain, the stream of stinging cold agony against a face already filled with pain. You let it hit you, between the eyes, across the brows, over the nose and mouth, like a gag worn to stop the cries from falling out. Each freezing strike, like the blade of a knife, cutting deep into the flesh of your life. And you let it soak you, chilling your bones, you let it saturate your clothes until it pulls you down. A leaden weight on feet that already ache from too much running down dead-end alleyways. Sometimes you enter the storm, trying to reach the eye, the calm. You run, you cry, letting tears join the downpour, searching in vain for a place that is less like a hurricane, more like a breeze in a summer glade. And as the thunderous roar drowns the sound in your tired mind, you hit the wall. The impact of a gale-force wind blowing you off track. Until you can't move forward, one step will push you all the way back. Some days, the wild, ferocious winds send you flailing, head in a spin from the howling winds whistling and wailing. It hurls abuse in your face, so much hate, it hits you with hail that crashes your senses, smashes down walls built to defend us, knocks down barriers and fences. We stand helpless. Sometimes, we take a walk through the debris-strewn floodplains, bruised again by the onslaught, caught up in the downpour, the constant roar, as we beg for help to come forward, whilst sighing silently inwards, as no one comes searching through the slate-like view of a sky filled with agony and misery of the rains washing through. But sometimes you reach the calm, where the sun cracks through, a silver-lined sky shines down on you. You know that the calm only lasts for a brief time. But the quiet is sublime. The peace and love lift the spirits, just enough to make the oncoming storm feel like a walk in the park and not a hellish nightmare run through the dark. <laughs>